All right, guys, let's have a quickly look at Rigetti. So today, 5% or so, 1150. So I think yesterday, actually, I didn't talk about this one yesterday. The day before yesterday, we're talking about the big flow coming in. And pretty much they timed it perfectly. Well done, 50% gain. And as soon as they sold, this stock hasn't done much ever since. It's been pretty much up and down shenanigans for the last... Um, well, I want to say two se sessions because this is the yesterday's high, 11.40, 50-ish. Today, 11.60, low, 10.50, 10.20, $10. So what I'm watching from here for the stock. So, let, well, let's take a look at that quick trade, actually. So which was, well, it comes at a pivotal point, makes pretty good profit, gets out overnight. Um, and that trade was $4 in the money call which which came in uh, to push the stock perfectly timed with the cpi report as well where overall market pumped as well and whoever started buying at those levels this is a daily chart i'm going to show you maybe like this so it's it was actually thirty-five thousand. so thirty-five thousand orders come in and I'm sure they still have some open interest. They haven't sold everything, but they sold uh, 30,000. So pretty much 90% out. They're out of their trade. So they come in by around 4, 450. And very next day, they start selling at 6, 650. And the moment they sell, well, just like I said, uh, when market makers, when option traders who cause this um, delta squeeze when they get out fully which they did in the first hour of the market they pretty much dumped uh, all of their 95 percent of their options which is um, somewhere around here you see the stock pull back a little bit towards 10 as well uh, that's when market makers had to get rid of their hedges shares uh, and then you saw pretty much retail yeah it is it is very um it is sticking a little bit more than i thought uh overall theme still pretty hot but today's volume relatively lower yesterday even the ceo was talking about this one i think this is the most objective ceo i think uh he was saying that yeah well, they're not going to be profitable for the next at least a few years um and even if they start making money it's in case government throws some bone in their way otherwise it is purely hype that's what he was saying so you can go take a look at it actually on that watch that video so today a few things a little bit different so not much of an option activity keep an eye on sec filings i did not uh, i don't think they can do any filings anyway because they had a deal up until February, end of February, they cannot sell any shares. So if they could, they would. So borrowing fee. So yeah, in the morning, people were starting shorting. Uh, I can see by the available shares that were um, available to short, went down all the way to 100K right now, 100K shares available to short, if you wish to short this name at a 5% fee. Uh, and let's take a look at the short volume and then we'll take a look at the option activity. So I want to see how it traded yesterday on 15th. So you can see um, the day before yesterday, when it started squeezing, you saw the short volume decline. But yesterday, 60% of that volume, it was very high volume yesterday too. 60% of that volume, whatever the volume it traded, again, this data is not an accurate data, but I just care about the percentage of the float. 60% people were short, 60% of the float was short. And I don't know how many covered, how many get out, but this is it. This is just purely for our daily um, in and out trades probably. And some people hold it a lot longer um, because with shares, there's no like specific, uh, I mean, unless it just keeps ripping, I mean, they're gonna lose, but right here, right now, if anybody yesterday started shorting with shares, even if they shorted a couple million shares, there's no, I mean, there's no panic. 
stock i mean hovering around those levels maybe if today's data comes out there's 20 more minutes until market close they they will add it to the short but i was watching 11 as an array of resistance so right here right now 11 maybe even this level 12 um 1279 but volume significantly lower compared to yesterday uh yesterday it had its highest print ever uh which was 390 million and today so far is 238 and market is about to close into um 20 minutes so the reason why i'm gonna be titling this one iv crush is anytime stock just hovers around here uh and it just doesn't move and volume just declines this is what happens your options are not going to appreciate uh, as you think unless you are deep deep in the money and you're just basically trading very low delta so option iv crush mode tomorrow very big option expiration what's going to happen next we will see but so far i'm considering this as a relief bounce for the stock uh, now just quickly glance at the option activity so 149,000 calls traded so far 106,000 puts traded so far so volume has gone down uh, compared to yesterday as well so you can see the puts definitely there are people buying puts as well but i'm not seeing unusual option activity so the only time i'm interested in a stock is when i see some sort of an unusual activity whether it's to the upside or it is to the downside i'm not seeing much uh, and i think that um if there's anything is going to change in the next few days we'll come back take a look at it but i'm not seeing any um just by filtering out the largest orders i'm not seeing that anything that is standing out to me to say that you know there's a bearish flow or there is bearish uh, bullish flow we pointed out that four dollars the day before or the very same day when it happened i mean if you were somebody who followed it you could definitely uh, traded off the shares as well you just follow the option activity and then manage the risk accordingly uh, with that flow in and out so not much happening for me for rgti uh, i'll keep an eye on this one but so far iv crush mode implied volatility is very very high uh, 230 for next week and monday market is closed you have to keep that in mind so that's the video that's the update for Regetti computing or gti uh, choppy premium killing modes for me these videos are purely for entertainment and educational purposes only if you're new to the channel don't forget to like subscribe see you in the next one